victims until police arrived. He is now locked up on assault charges and he faces more than $17,000 in bond. This weekend, a Clifton minister won't spend Sunday in the pulpit. He will be in Columbus defending himself in front of church leaders. Reverend David Meredith, the openly gay pastor of Clifton United Methodist Church, is now facing church charges that could cost him his ordination. And as he told Local 12's Joe Webb, he may lose his credentials, but he will not lose his ministry. It's why they passed through the Red Sea. It's why Noah brought a promise out of a flood. Clifton United Methodist minister David Meredith has been preaching the gospel the whole time he's been openly living with his partner Jim Schlachter, nearly 30 years. It wasn't until the two got married last year that it became an issue for church hierarchy. So we were married on May 7th, and on May 8th, some of the complainants uh, spoke to the Columbus Dispatch and said, we are planning to send forward complaints. And on May 9th, two days after our wedding, they submitted the complaints. The West Ohio Conference of the United Methodist Church received a total of 11 complaints, eight from Methodist ministers. Sunday afternoon, David Meredith will appear before a church committee on investigations, the first step in what could lead to a full-blown church trial. I have complete confidence that who I am and how I live is pleasing in God's sight. Two local pastors are among those who filed complaints. They would not comment today. A representative of the church conference said they were preparing a statement. Reverend Meredith is facing three church charges. In general, they are immorality, being a practicing homosexual, and disobedience to the order and discipline of the United Methodist Church. A rally of support for Meredith is scheduled before Sunday's hearing in Columbus. Church member Steve DePoe says he will be there. In many respects, he's, a, he's sort of a typical pastor. I think in all of his appointments during his career, he's been pretty successful in growing congregations. Uh, but he's just really good at uh, caring for his flock. This water reminds us that we could go there. David Meredith says his current situation is just the latest in the ancient struggle between church law and church freedom. The church cannot they cannot stop the good news from being proclaimed by these lips. There's nothing they can do to stop that. But they may say, you can't do it here. In Clifton, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. In a statement released this afternoon, Methodist Bishop Gregory Palmer said, quote, I am unceasingly in prayer for the whole United Methodist Church, the West Ohio Conference, and the parties most deeply involved in this